Good morning. It's Patrick here, your local chiropractor, giving you your daily dose of complete health. Why isn't therapy always enough? Why isn't therapy always enough? Now, this could be chiropractic, it could be physio, it could be massage, it could be any form of therapy that you could be having, but why could therapy on its own not necessarily be enough to fix your problem? Well, this all comes down to what it is you're doing and why the problem is there in the first place. Now, we often get sought after, especially chiropractors or physios or massage therapists as fixers. We are fixers of problems. Now, the reality is true that we can certainly help people with a lot of the problems that they have. However, one thing I always hate being labeled as is a fixer. Why? Because I am only a guide to someone's body recovering. And again, let me explain why. Now, the body is a self-healing organism. Every single, peop- every single person on the planet has the ability within their body for their body to actually fix their own problem. E.g., if there is a muscle torn or a joint not working or a nerve that's inflamed, everybody knows that a tissue can go through a recovery process. Almost everyone knows someone that has broken a bone and it didn't require for someone to put that bone together. The body could do it itself. It maybe needed a guide, e.g. a consultant, who then set the bone straight to make sure that the bone fused in the right direction. However, it didn't need someone to fix the problem in a lot of cases. But what it did require is for someone to turn around and say to that person, well, look, your arm's broken. So please do not use it, because if you use the arm whilst it's broken, guess what's going to happen? Now, interestingly enough, the number of people that I will see coming into the clinic who will want me to fix a problem, e.g. A, I have a shoulder rotator cuff injury, but I want to continue doing my work every single day, and you ask them the question, so when do you notice that your problem the most? Oh, it's during work. Guess what? That's the trigger and that's gonna not solve the problem. Same again, if someone's got high blood pressure and they're going to speak to their GP, they're expecting that GP to fix the problem without them having to do any work. Well, what's the reason why people develop high blood pressure? Not exercising enough, eating a poor diet and having too much salt in their diet. Normally not drinking enough fluids. And as a result, what do we start to see? Blood pressure go through the roof. But what ends up happening is because we will not take responsibility for our own health, we'll be given a medication. And this is why we're seeing such a cycle in the ways that our health is starting to deteriorate. It's actually very interesting that nowadays, the number of cancer cases is becoming one in two, as opposed to one in four, when it was about 20, 30 years ago. Why? Because we are becoming less and less responsible for our health. So, use us as a guide. You may have to do stuff yourself. You may have to change your diet if you're really gonna get the full benefits of reducing inflammation in the body. You may have to go out and do your own forms of exercise to improve on your home uh, exercise routine or improve strength to improve the muscle balance or reduce the blood pressure or reduce your weight so that these problems can properly solve. Because what happens with an injury is that why it won't recover is that the breakdown of the tissues is happening faster than what the recovery is. And so as a chiropractor and as a guide, we're going to try and get that balance right so the tissues can start to heal themselves. Patrick here from Complete Health. This is your daily dose and I will speak to you guys again tomorrow. And therapy, and therapy. We'll speak to you again soon. Take care for now.